Good morning, everyone. The official member of the Hunbun Society is back in the building, although today's Hunbun is a little bit pathetic, I'm not gonna lie. Um, <clears throat> it's a gorgeous sunny day. I've got my uh, windows open, the Veluxes, and all I can see right now out of my window is blue sky and clouds. Look how amazing that is. I love the sky around here. Where I used to live, you could never really sort of see the sky because there was just houses everywhere. So there was no kind of like horizons or views or anything, but I have woken up in such a lovely mood today. Um, I didn't really like go to sleep particularly early or anything. I caught up on Love Island, obviously, and um, just kind of felt, felt asleep like a happy little camper. And I woke up about six o'clock, no, 6.30 today. Kind of rolled around in bed for a little bit. Um, but I've got a really nice day today. And me personally, I don't usually watch when like bloggers go on trips and stuff. I love watching bloggers just normal life. So I've always prioritized at home normal life. And I don't tend to vlog a lot of the trips or events and things that I do because first of all I find them quite like oh and vlogging and entertaining as well as keeping my head like in the fact that I'm like socializing <laughs> sometimes I find quite difficult so um I don't usually do it in fact when did I go the other week and I was like oh I wish I'd vlogged that when I went to Wimbledon I wish I'd vlogged that it was such a great day so today I am vlogging me going to this event and I'm actually working on a campaign that I've been working on for like the past year um, you might remember last year I went to Milan with Emporio Armani and I went with Ali and loads of other couples like Ollie and Emma and we just did a beautiful event and campaign shoot whilst we were there and it was really really great fun and it's now the one year anniversary of that. So there's a big party tonight. It's the one year anniversary for Because It's You for her and Stronger With You for him. And those are fragrances that both Ali and I wear pretty regularly, to be honest. They're two of those fragrances that are just kind of fail safe. Like whenever Ali wears it, I'm like, you smell really nice today. I've not really met anyone that doesn't like the fragrance. So for me, when I don't know what to put on, I know that that's one that I can put on and just everyone's gonna like it. So I thought that I would kind of film my get ready with me today because there's a few products that I'm using that maybe I haven't showed you yet or haven't really talked through with you but it's gonna be a bit more of a full face than usual because I'm actually gonna wear foundation today. Just try and make myself look as nice as possible because I was actually looking through old photographs because the whole campaign has got Ali and I like thinking about our first anniversary so I actually went back to the beginning of my Instagram and um, I used to do my makeup quite nicely. I used to put a lot on, but I used to do it quite nicely. So I'm gonna do a little bit more today. Um, so far, the house is quite quiet because I'm all the way at the top of the house and the decorators are all the way in the bottom of the house. So it's not too bad yet, but we do have Ali's wardrobes going down today. So mm, it could get a little bit noisy. I am getting picked up in my car at 12. We have our whole team coming with us today. So Carrie, Ali's manager, we've got photographers and videographers, people that you know from our videos quite well, um, like AR and people like that. So yeah, it's, it's a full house going to tonight's event, but we've got a lot of stuff to do whilst we're there. So for us, it's really great to be able to go to these things with our full team so that we know what um, we're kind of gonna be able to produce when we're there. So it's great. Uh, so anyway, I've got my iced tea this morning. And I'm going to get cracking. I'm kind of, I haven't really planned what I'm gonna use. I've got some new bits out from, from the Armani Neo Nudes collection. I've been loving their lip balm, but I haven't used too much of the other stuff yet, just purely because I haven't really been wearing makeup. So I thought I would test drive some of their new bits as well as using this. This is the most gorgeous lip balm. I love this. This is um, Ecstasy Balm in shade two. And um, get some foundation on my face because you need it. <laughs> so first things first, I'm going to, oh, am I gonna use this one? This is the Olay, I don't know what SPF to use. I think because I'm going to London, it's probably best that I use City Smart. So I'm gonna use a little pump of the Elizabeth Arden City Smart because I'm going to be around a lot more pollution than I'm used to. So, so on my base, I'm gonna use the By Terry Cellular Rose Brightening Serum and the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light. I take shade uh, Intensity 3.0. There, 
again for any concealer that I may require. I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Concealer Palette because I just use this every single day, whether I'm having like a kind of um, less makeup day, <laughs> whatever that is, or whether I'm having kind of like a full face. I just always tend to reach for this. I don't know why, I feel like I like the whole palette thing and there's like some different shades that all work with my skin so it kind of works really well. No, I'm gonna go a bit lighter with my concealer so I'm gonna use the Becca Under Eye Brightener because I love this, just a small amount though. Just to brighten it up and to be honest, I literally, I don't even feel like I need more than that to be honest but I need a new blusher brush. This one gets hairs all over my face. I don't appear to have one, so I'm just gonna have to go with it. And if you see hairs on my face, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm gonna use the Givenchy Beauty Healthy Glow Powder, which is my favorite bronzer at the moment. And I just, I kind of use it a bit like a contour, but I mean, you've seen me probably do this a million times. Adds a really natural glow rather than a harsh glow. Look, see all these bloody hairs. <laughs> I've also fake tan today and I went for um, the Express Saint Tropez tan so that I'm darker and a bit more intense because that's what I fancy when I'm going to events. You kind of want to be a little bit more goldy. As you can see, it kind of like brings my foundation into my body a little bit. To set my powder around my jaw, I'm going to use the new Giorgio Armani Neo Nudes powder. Where's my brow pencil? For my brows, I'm using the Giorgio Armani High Precision Brow Pencil, and I've been using this for ages. I'm surprised that there's any left, to be perfectly honest. I love these little twizzle up ones that don't need to be sharpened, they're just so convenient. So I just use it to fill in the areas where I've lost hairs. For my blush, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Life is a Peach blush, just to add a wee pop of color. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with my eyes yet. Go in with a contour. So we've got the Rodial Contour Powder, which I use very, very lightly. So, for my highlight, I'm going to be using the A highlight from the Neo Nudes collection. Is that the right one? No, I think I'm going to go in with the slightly pinkier one. This is in shade 11. And it's just a little bit more pinky. By the way, how gorgeous is this packaging? It is like the most perfect nude. It almost matches my nails, look. I love it so much. On my lips, my lip liner is MAC in Spice because it's basically the only one that actually creates a line between my lips and my skin. And then over the top of the lip liner, I'm using the Giorgio Armani Ecstasy Balm in shade two, because this just keeps my lips really nice and hydrated and also gives it a tiny weeny little shot of color. So now I kind of have to decide what I want to do on my eyes. So I'm just gonna have a play around for a little bit. Find a palette and have a play.
gone, I've actually used the Urban Decay Born to Run palette and I used Riff on the outer corners and then Ignite kind of all over the lid. And then just to kind of bring you up to speed because I was intensely focusing then, I also used the Guerlain Liquid Eyeliner for my feline flicks because it's pretty much the best one. So, um, but yeah, kind of happy with how that's turned out. Nice. Uh, now for mascara, I'm going to use the By Terry Lash Expert. If I can find a wee eyelash curler. <laughs> Do I have a wee eyelash curler? Where is my wee eyelash curler? And that is my makeup look finished for the event. Now I'm going to spritz a little bit of the Because It's You perfume from Emporio Armani. This is the fragrance for her and you guys know how I like to overspray massively. So having such a big bottle is absolutely brilliant. It's so nice and sweet and summery. This is a perfect kind of like refreshing scent to just spritz all over you basically. <laughs> So the event tonight is to celebrate the one year anniversary of the launch of this and the whole thing has made me remember mine and Ali's one year anniversary and I don't know whether you remember, you can scroll back on my Instagram, but actually for our one year anniversary, we got Lumi. <laughs> that was my one year anniversary present, Lumi. <laughs> so um, I scrolled back and found all of the pictures of that and it was just so nice. So nice and I'm gonna be sharing some old pictures of Ali and I on Instagram as well. So they'll probably already be live. So I'll pop my Instagram link down below, but it is just at Lydia E. Millen if you want to go and see some very young baby Ali and Lydia's from way back when we first met. I will also pop a link to all of the items that I have popped on my face and also a link to the Because It's You and the Stronger With You fragrances down below from Boots. So you'll be able to find those there. So I've finished up my makeup and my hair. I'm actually gonna leave my hair like this and have it in a bit of a hun bun for this evening because my outfit is kind of like a retro Charisse pink silk shirt and trouser combo. <laughs> I picked this out at the Armani store in London and I just fell in love with it instantly. This is the only thing that I tried on and I was like, wow. Talk about making an impact with a bright pink outfit. And I've got gray shoes and a little Dior clutch. This needs to be steamed though. So I'm gonna steam that before I go. A cute gray Manolo Blahnix to go with. They need a little bit of a spruce up, but they look good. As I mentioned, we're gonna be staying down at the Ritz. Very fancy, honestly, that's like ridiculous that I've been gonna be staying there for like the third time. It is the dream there so i am going to pack up my suitcase this is an away case this is kind of what i use for my shorter trips because it holds lots but it's also um not too big so this is where the magic is going to be happening for the next few minutes I realized that I'm probably gonna need to put my um, outfit for tonight in my bag. So I'm gonna pack this because I do actually have enough space for it. This is the Philips Steam and Go and I've been using this pretty much every day to steam all of my clothes. And I thought, probably just take it and it's easy and then I don't have to pay for someone to iron it at the Ritz. This is my outfit to travel down to London because it's super comfortable. I can slip these little Fendi mules off in the back of the car and cross my legs and do some typing away. This top is from Pretty Little Thing. I got it a while ago and it's sold out so I can't link it but I'll link something similar down below. And then these are my redone jeans which I basically live in. And this is just a super comfortable outfit that I can chill in for the majority of the day. And uh, the hun bun is going well. <laughs> um, our car is outside but it is a little bit early so we are just finalising everything and packing up our bags and getting everything sorted to head down but I'm really really looking forward to it and I'm actually enjoying my 
hair and makeup today. I actually really like it. I don't know why, I just, I feel better when I don't wear makeup. Like, I think my skin feels better, but in the same breath, when I do do, do bother to do my makeup, I'm like, oh, hi. <laughs> we are currently in the car, and we've just got to London. We shouldn't be too far from the Ritz now. We've got this little camper with me, and we've got another little camper in the front. And we're gonna go meet some more of our campers when we get there. Um, but I'm currently freezing in the car because apparently my body temperature is different to everyone else's and I asked them to turn off the air conditioning and everyone was like I'm hot I'm like well, I'm at my optimum comfort temperature but no air conditioning is back on this is just gonna have to be my life going forward isn't it I'm gonna have to deal with the fact that everyone else is weird and I'm always cold it's been a not too bad journey down actually because usually when I get in a car my eyes go really sleepy but I feel like I've managed to keep myself at optimum awake levels so we're currently at optimum levels of everything is everyone excited yeah looking forward to it. it's gonna be a great evening yeah to be fair armani pr probably when it comes to events yeah chuck on a good party. they do the, the best parties like last year i had work the next day and so i didn't really get to like enjoy myself but i didn't think it was going to be like as good as it was and then when i got there i was like oh my god i'm so gutted that i'm not like free tomorrow so that I can just let my hair down and have fun so this year I said to Carrie I was like make sure that I've got nothing in my diary the next day I want to have fun and pate <laughs> so that's what I'm doing this year pate <laughs> so we've arrived at the Ritz and I always try and play it cool they even remembered me when I got here <laughs> I was like, oh, hello. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so I've just got here into my room. They kindly, again, upgraded us, which is just so nice of them. So we just got to our room on the seventh floor. Again, it's another beautiful suite with so much marble everywhere. Look at this. So yeah, this is like the little seating area around here. Oh, do you know what this reminds me of? It always reminds me, and this it doesn't, like this is not as bad as it sounds, but it reminds me of my grandma's house. Yeah. It's classic elegance. Yeah, so she has like literally a desk almost identical to this, yeah. just a bit bigger. The sofas, the, the the lamps, everything just reminds me of my grandma's taste. And so it's, I think it's probably why I love coming here so much. But then this is the bedroom, which is just beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at this little seating area. We can have breakfast here in the morning. So cute. Are you coming out of this door? Yeah, <laughs> two doors. <laughs> We've also got champagne, which I don't think I'm going to touch until this evening because otherwise I won't make it the whole day. Um, and I've got a little letter here as well. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. I think this is my favourite bathroom in the Ritz because it's got pink marble and grey marble all mixed together. <gasps> wow. Oh, I'm going to get the selfie of all selfies in this mirror. Hey. So I'm currently refueling and I've got a pret salad. You know when you like realize halfway through the day that you haven't drank enough water? That is where I'm at at the moment. My face is like, oh, it feels so dry. I'm like glugging water. I love water. I'm always weirded out when people say, oh, I don't like water. I mean, I get it. It's like nothing. But at the same time, I'm like, it just makes me feel so nice when I drink it. I don't know. Cool story, Lydia. And I'm actually really looking forward to wearing my outfit because it's. I feel like it's a little bit like not what... I would usually go for. I feel like it's quite bright and pink. But um, I feel like I've sort of changed up a little bit with the accessories that I've gone for as well. But it's super comfortable and super soft on my skin. <laughs> Sounds like a beauty product, but it's not. It's a suit. So I am currently steaming my outfit. I brought my little steamy steam with me. AR is filming for Ali's video, so if he gets in the way of the shot, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna steam the crap out of this. Oh, hey, oh look, you need to get in the vlog. <laughs> The girls love AR. Like he's always a hit on my channel. In fact, I might just have you in my videos to get me better hits. Is that okay with you? You're gonna lose subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Carrie. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Carrie. So that is my outfit, freshly steamed. It's bloody nice not having to uh, pay a million pounds to go and have it ironed. Although I don't think I'll always have enough space in my suitcase for a steamer, unfortunately. I wish I did, but I overpack. <laughs> but it all looks very nice. So now I'm going to probably get dressed and just touch up on my makeup and my hair and uh, we should be ready to go by then.
So this is my outfit on and I absolutely love it. I love it so much more than when I tried it on. I actually had it tailored. So these trousers were a little bit too big on the legs and the waist so we had it made so it fits me perfectly. And I don't actually think this shirt is supposed to go with these trousers, but I kind of liked the whole jumpsuity vibe that it was giving it. And this is these are both from Emporio Armani. You can find these in store. If I can find them online, I will link them down below. I've then got my cute little Manolos. These are my gray um, BBs. And then I'm taking a dual clutch. I'm gonna take my ecstasy balm with me and my phone, because this bag does not carry a lot of stuff. And then of course, finishing off my outfit with Armani, because it's you. Team Mill and Gordon in the Heezy. How is everyone this evening? Good. 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 I feel like we're outnumbered, Carrie. I know. My goodness. <laughs> is everyone That's ready to party? <laughs> James, you let the team down on that one. You let the team down. Yeah. You, we, there'll be plenty of that later on. <laughs> We're currently having a team drinks at our hotel and Carrie strategically, yes, that's, she, there's no more cups, so she's just going to the bottle. Uh, what can I say? <laughs> it was planned. Yeah, it was tactical. <laughs> Everyone's gone down to get the taxi to the event, so I thought I would quickly show you a full length of my outfit because honestly, I love it so much. This is probably one of my favourite outfits at the moment which I didn't actually think it would be. I tried it on and I was like, oh, I do really like it. But now I'm like, I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna head down and meet the rest of the guys who have just gone to get a taxi and we're gonna head to the event. Mr. Gordon. Hello. Mr. Millen Gordon. Mr. MG yes. and the MG entourage. Yeah. Doing bits. Rocking up with our own crew. Doing bits, that sounds like um, Love Island. <laughs> Right. Seat belts, everybody. <laughs> Devious. Oh, where's my seat? Oh, oh, yeah. This is a great chance for me to grill <laughs> Mr. <laughs> AR. How's my so wedding close. video coming along, it's AR? No, it's fine. You got the quick one, the the one for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> promise? Is that? Can I have that on camera? Pinky promise. Pinky promise it. Good morning everyone. 
done. I've just woken up in the hotel room and um, I'm so annoyed. <laughs> last night, well, just as I was getting ready last night, I just got these like two spots, like one there and one there. I don't really ever get spots anymore. And I was a bit like, okay. And then they just kind of got bigger and then like bigger. And then by the time I was going to the event, I was like, oh great, I've literally got like mates on my face. And when I walked into the event, I saw um, one of the PRs from Armani and I was like, she was like, oh my God, you look so nice. I was like, thank you. I've also bought my friend. And she was like, oh, Lydia, babe, Ali was your plus one. <laughs> And um, so I was really annoyed because I was so looking forward to that. I feel like that always happens when you're looking forward to something. You like get like the biggest spot ever. And um, I've come back and I've done my skincare routine and now they're just like flat. Like not, they're just like not, you can't even, I've not even got makeup on. I haven't even showered yet. Sorry that I'm on camera and I haven't showered. But yeah, I was like, what was even the point in that? You weren't even there for like 24 hours. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, there's a little red mark there, but it's like just completely gone down. But Ali and I have ordered a healthy breakfast, which um, we're very much looking forward to. I've gone for the smashed avocado and poached eggs and then a wake me up juice. It's got like turmeric and stuff like that in it. And Ali's gone for an omelette and I'm gonna jump in the shower now so that I'm ready to go because our car gets here at like 11. Um, Ali's staying in London because he's got a meeting but I am going to car it home and do some work in the back of the car and then um, get back and just kind of crack on at home. I don't know why my camera keeps going blurry. Why is it doing that? Yeah, so I'm gonna do just some work when I get home, see how things are getting on at the house. Looking forward to breakfast, but I need a shower. I'm like, meh. <laughs> we turned the air con off last night in the room and I was like, woke up this morning, I was like, ah. <sighs> um, but no, I had a really, really good night last night. Breakfast is served. Ali is drying his hair. Ali's gone for the omelette. And that's my wake me up juice. And then I've gone for smashed avocado and poached eggs um, we've also got coffees we've got bread baskets and pastry baskets and lots of other bread as well and then butter as well my outfit to head home in. I've got some redone jeans on, which we've already spoken about. I love um, my Chanel trainers, a Primark tee, and an acne jacket, and then my Saint Laurent sunglasses to hide the fact that I'm not wearing any makeup. Pardon? Don't you look beautiful without makeup? Oh, babe. That's okay. Thanks. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've got a car that's going to take me home, so I'm going to get myself comfy in the car, get my laptop out, do some work, and hopefully be home in no time at all. Right, babe, I'm going. <laughs> 